Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am back with another spread in my skinny classic happy notes that I use as a work planner. So there is my spread for last week, December 30th through to Sunday, June 5th, where I did my own type of layout with stamps, but also used stickers from the Homebody sticker book. So for this week, I'll be doing a slightly different type of layout because that did work for me somewhat, but I just want to add more space per day. And I'll be using the Dream Seeker sticker book to add some decoration. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I do is normally take the pages out of the discs. It's always easier to decorate that way. And then I actually line up last week's spread with this week's just because I realized that I was, as I was using the planner throughout the week, five days on one page does not give me enough room. So I counted out that there were uh, enough for I think 52 grid spaces and therefore I could divide that evenly so that each day had 13 grids or dots in between so that I could get enough room to make this like a proper skinny classic happy planner. I initially got it wrong I thought it was 12 so I use my whiteout and adjust for 13. Counting is essential when you're doing any type of bullet journaling. Once I count the appropriate amount of uh, grids, I just go in and draw the lines using this ruler. And I normally get a lot of questions about this ruler. This ruler I purchased at Michael's and it's one of their recollections rulers. And I believe they still have them in, uh, in the store. So go ahead and find that there. And then for the days of the week, I'm going to go ahead and stamp them like I did last week. Now I've got a piece of tissue paper there that's wet so I can clean my stamps immediately after I use them. And then that ink pad is my VersaFine ink pad, just in black ink. And those number stamps there are from the Happy Planner journaling stamps that I got last year. So this process may seem a little bit monotonous and it may be a pain in the butt for some of you, but if you are bullet journaling or if you have purchased a notebook like this and it's not dated, then it may work for you. I wasn't able to find a skinny classic happy planner that I really liked and I liked the freedom of having a bullet journal so that I could play around with the different layouts. And because I have the stamps available to me, it's not too bad to be able to do this every week. There's something about having the freedom and flexibility of creating your own layouts. Part of me wants to try um, like a week on two pages layout, similar to like a print impression weeks where, or not a print impression weeks, but where they have um, like, it's hard to explain, like eight different rectangles for the whole day and then the columns widths are the size of the Happy Planner or Erin Condren sticker, so maybe I want to give that a try next week. We'll see how this layout works. But again, the great thing is you have the ability to try out different layouts should you choose. Now I do realize that going and watching me stamp every day of the week can be a little bit monotonous, but you get the idea. And... I clean off each of the stamps in between each use because I do have the tendency of accidentally pressing on the used stamp, getting ink all over my paper, or getting ink all over my finger, then getting ink all over the paper. Once I've done the stamping, then I draw in the rest of the lines. I think this part of the process itself actually didn't take as long as I thought it would. Once I figured out the actual dimensions of each day, then it was just really easy to draw everything in. So setting up your actual layout for the week isn't too, too bad. Now I'm working on the second part of the week, so Friday through Sunday. Similar process to what I did for the first part of the week.
now that I have all that set up, I can go in and start using the Dream Seeker stickers. I love these stickers. They are absolutely one of my favorite sticker books. And it, I can so easily use it in here with the pink running down the center. So I'm trying to decide how I want to decorate this. And one of the things I really want to use is one of those long stickers um, over Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Just trying to decide which one. And I think in the end I wanted to do kind of a green and a pink type of spread. So I choose the green sticker and place it along Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And this is going to be for any notes or if I want to keep sales there. But it really is just an extra notes page to run across all three. And plus it looks pretty. Then I go into all the decorative florals and I'm going to take this huge floral here and I'm going to cut it in half and place one half on Thursday and the other half on the, um, I guess, blank section on the right hand side there. I love these florals. I can use the Dream Seeker sticker book at any time of year. And then I'm going to do the same with a similar floral, slightly smaller, and place one part of it on Monday and the other part of it on Friday. I don't really need a lot to be able to decorate my work planner. I don't want to decorate it too, too much just because I do need all of that writing room. And I won't be showing you too many after the pens in here because there are some things like promotions and stuff that I cannot show online. Um, but otherwise, it's just fun to be able to play around with another planner. But I do have specific uses for this. Don't worry, I'm not just doing this for fun, although it is super fun. Now I'm going in and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to use to, I guess, write down my shifts or any other notes. But I found this box. It does say feeling on it, but I don't mind too much. It might, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, but I do really, sometimes that happens where I put down a sticker. I don't have a purpose for it yet, but I will end up having a purpose for it once I actually use it. Then I'm going to go in with these tabs or quarter boxes, and that's where I'm going to write down my shift for each day. I know I already write down my shift in my dashboard layout, but because this is my work planner, it is important for me to know my actual shifts. Now that I've put that all down, I'm trying to figure out the next part here, what I want to put down, I guess, for a box on Thursday. And Thursday is when I'm working my two workshops. So for me, it would be important to keep track of my stats for each workshop. But now I'm also looking, I want to put down a quote because Friday is a day off for me. Uh, and so I'm thinking, well, I have this little notes noted sticker, which per works perfectly in that blank session section cannot speak and then I'm going to put a quote down for Friday because I do have the room for it. Then now um, I spoke ahead here but now I'm going to try and find a box for Thursday to keep the stats for Thursday's workshop and as you can see I really am trying to stick to the main colors of green and pink. There are going to be other colors in here obviously but the overall scheme is trying to be green and pink. And then I wanted to try and find a quote to go on Thursday and I didn't want to find like a translucent quote but I did find that the best day and I thought that worked out really well. Now I wanted to go and find a couple of other things to add for a bit more decoration so I found some leaves and I found a floral but I realized you know what that's it I don't need to add any more. So there is my finished spread. I really like the look of the Dream Seeker stickers and the way that this has just all come together. I'm absolutely loving it. I'm, I know that the stamping can take a little bit of time, but overall having your own spread like this just really, really works for me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in the notebook here. Dream Seeker sticker book always make makes me feel <laughs> wonderful and my spreads with the sticker book always come out beautiful all right
but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.